Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, pressure reducing valves for boilers. Now this one's a B and G. It's an FB38. Uh, there's one, Taco makes one, and oh, there's a bunch of manufacturers make different ones. They all look different. They all do the same thing. They reduce the domestic water pressure from uh, whatever comes into the home or the business to uh, 12 pounds. Now, when I say 12 pounds, that's if I have a boiler that is either on the same level as the radiators are or it's in a basement and goes up one floor. Uh, you can do 12 pounds of that. Uh, if you have a second floor, you're going to have to do 18. If you have a third floor, you're going to have to change boilers because uh, these boilers are maximum 30 pounds and this, uh, this thing, if I have to go up a third floor, I'm going to be 26, 27 pounds which is going to start the uh, relief valve weeping. So uh, that's what these are for. They're, they're there to reduce the pressure from uh, the incoming water down to 12 pounds or whatever it needs. Uh, the adjustment right there. This little doohickey right here, uh, it's loose now, but if there's pressure in it, it would... Uh, it would have resistance. If I lift this up, it bypasses the pressure reducing capability of the valve and bypasses water into it. That's, uh, you know, and it conceivably could go up to the same pressure as in your domestic line. Uh, these are used to add water in more quickly when you need it, when you're bleeding or something like that. Okay, we'll take this thing apart. This assembly here, that's that bell that was on top. All there is is a spring in there. And the spring pushes down on the diaphragm. The adjustment is right there. So it kind of fits like that up in there and if you adjust it down uh, adjusting clockwise it increases the uh, pressure inside the system okay this thing one of the things you can do if for some reason this valve doesn't feed is you can pull this cap off of here see this would be down uh, with the bell up so uh, you can take that cap off there's a screen inside there. Now, in order to get that screen out, I had to take it out in pieces, uh, which is typical. Uh, this one, I don't know how long it had been in. I don't think it had been in real long, but it's already got a lot of crap in it, and the screen is actually corroding away. Uh, that's about half of them I got. That's, that's the condition the screens are in. But you can pull that out, and if it's completely plugged, you can flush it out put the screen back in if there's anything left of it uh, okay next thing is water is coming in from here you got your little arrow there okay to explain how this thing works we have high pressure water coming in here we have that button in there which as it moves up and it will move up from the pressure coming in it'll close the valve however you have this spring counteracting it that's trying to open the valve it's pushing down here on this to try to open the valve this pressure coming in is trying to close the valve there okay as the pressure increases here it's going to act against the spring pressure because it's pushing up from right there. You see that little hole in there. So it's trying to close this valve. The spring's trying to open it. So when we get to a balance of say 12 pounds, like let's say I got 60 pounds coming in, that's going to try to close the valve. However, if there's no pressure down here, 
then water will pass through. And then when the pressure in the system gets back up high enough, say the, the 12 pounds, it's going to push on the diaphragm and push the spring <coughs> up and close off the valve. Okay, if that makes any sense, I will do a troubleshoot on these things uh, next.